Welcome to the Software Factory Beta. We are so excited for you to try it out, and I'd like to thank you for supporting us with your time and mental energy. Software Factory is an AI tool chain to automate key components of the software development lifecycle. The first module is called Refinery. In Refinery, you will write detailed PRDs with an agent to answer your questions and suggest edits. The second module is called Foundry. In Foundry, you will build an engineering plan called a blueprint with technical implementation details connected directly to the features outlined in the PRD. The third module is called Planner. In Planner, the blueprint will be turned into work orders that tell your coding agent how to build the app to your specifications. The fourth module is called Assembler. In Assembler, you will connect your coding agent and watch it write your software. To start, let's create a new project. Today, we're going to build a deep research directory a web app where users can share the results from their ChatGPT deep research queries. Creating a new project lands us in Refinery. On the left is the PRD editor, where you can make manual edits to the PRD. On the right is the Refinery agent, which can answer your questions and suggest edits. The agent can be given additional context by uploading documents that are relevant to your project. Now, I'm going to chat with the agent to write my PRD. Great! Now that we're happy with the PRD, it's time to move on to Foundry to write our Blueprint. Blueprint creation starts by selecting a template. The template outlines the sections that will appear in the Blueprint. General sections come at the top of the Blueprint. These contain implementation details pertaining to the entire project, things like frameworks, system architecture, and infrastructure. Feature sections appear in the blueprint for each feature. These will document technical implementation like business logic, UI components, and data model on a per-feature basis. Before writing the blueprint, we should extract some features from the PRD. The Feature Extraction Agent will read the PRD and extract feature nodes. These will be organized into a structured, hierarchical representation of features in the PRD. Great! Now we have all the Blueprint sections we need to specify the implementation for the entire app. Remember, you don't need to write the entire Blueprint before you start building. It's OK to fill out a few sections at a time and generate only the work orders that you're ready to complete. We recommend that for the best results, you fill out as much as you can. The more detail you have in your blueprint, the more clarity you and the agent will have when it's time to build. Now, I'm going to work with the Foundry agent to write the blueprint. By the way, if your project has an existing code base, you can connect it to Software Factory, and our agent will write as much of the blueprint as possible for you. Now that we've completed most of the blueprint, it's time to go to Planner and generate some work orders. When you press Create with AI, the Work Order Extraction Agent will read each blueprint section and create work orders to break the implementation down into actionable steps. All right, now that the agent is finished, let's take a look at a work order. What's cool about work orders is that you can easily see the blueprint section and text from the PRD that led to the creation of each work order. Even cooler, you can engage a codebase-aware implementation planning agent to detail the files you will need to create and modify to implement the work order. Cool, I've generated the implementation plans for a couple of work orders. If you don't have a code base or can't connect it to Software Factory, that's okay. The work order description is enough for most coding agents. You can manually mark a work order as ready and you'll be good to go. Now that we have some work orders ready, let's open Assembler and get to work. We'll start by connecting our coding agent to Software Factory with MCP. We have one-click install with cursor and instructions for connecting several popular coding agents. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to us over email or on Discord.
Now that we've installed the Software Factory MCP server into our coding agent, let's review what happens next. In Assembly Manager, you can view your work orders and drag and drop to resequence them. From here, it's time to start coding. I'm going to open Cursor and ask it to get the next work order. It will read the work order, then ask questions and write code. It will be my responsibility as a developer to review the code, test the app, and make sure the implementation is going correctly. From here, I'll vibe code like I would for any other project. The difference is Software Factory has all the context needed to keep me and my agent aligned. So, after some back and forth with the agent and a few more work orders, we have a, a very basic version of our app. So you can submit links, and, and I've already created one here uh, for uh, ChatGPT I did the other day, and it will take you right to the website so you can read it. Pretty cool. Thank you for watching and for signing on to test the Software Factory beta. If while you're using the app, you encounter any issues or have ideas for how we can make it better, please leave us feedback in the bottom left corner. We'd love for you to join our communities on Discord, X, and Reddit so you can engage with other users, including 8090 staff. Thank you.